The world is fascinated by Britain's monarchy. 500 dignitaries from all over the world are attending today's funeral of Queen Elizabeth. A billion people, maybe more, are watching on TV. Strange, isn't it, that in the 21st century, the queen of a fading world power should attract so much attention. Elizabeth II had no political or military power yet. She was the most famous woman in the world. She was always there. One third of all the people of Britain had actually seen her in person. Not surprising since she reigned for 70 years and visited every town and city at least once. She traveled to all 56 Commonwealth countries and dozens of others throughout the world. Her presence was felt. No matter what, she was there. Family scandals, civil unrest, and then the pandemic, where she famously reassured the nation that we will meet again. She never quit. I would imagine she would be appalled at today's quiet quitters. She wasn't voted in, but she still saw her duty as serving her people. Monarchy may seem absurd to many Americans. Why give any standing to an unelected dynasty? So perhaps it is Elizabeth who fascinates rather than the monarchy itself. Steadfast, calm, reassuring, unifying, and always there.